People power. power. Kunga Uganda kunga. kunga. Viva Kenya viva. Viva. Uh, I will not take any other minute. I want to invite the president to speak to us. And after, immediately after speaking, I will request only the committee members to come here and take a picture with him. It will be one. But I'm going to make a idea in front of the president. I'm going to make a president. I'm going to make a committee of Kenya. I'm going to make a committee so that we allow him to do it. Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you very much. People power. Our power. Our power. Viva Kenya, viva. Viva. Viva Uganda, viva. Viva. Viva Africa, viva. Viva. People power. Our power. Our power. People power. NUP. Everywhere. Everywhere. NUP. Thank you. Thank you very much. And to salute all of you, ladies and gentlemen. Honorable MPs, fellow leaders in the party. Our Kenyan chapter, its leadership and members, I salute you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be very brief. As a matter of fact, I was not supposed, I was not intending to attend this function because I'm catching a flight in the next hour and a half. I have to be in Johannesburg tonight. <laughs> we keep moving because we know that these dictators, you can only operate, you cannot operate on the inside the country. They tend to surround and muzzle the country. We know that Museveni, like Amin, like many other dictators, are destabilized by forces of citizens of Uganda and also friends of Uganda, especially those that face outside. So yesterday night, yesterday, we had a very successful function. In fact, the day before yesterday, actually. We had a very successful function. We had a human rights accountability conference in Nairobi. We cannot have it in Uganda. We cannot have such a function in Uganda minus tear gas. I want to thank all of you that made it possible and also thank the friends here in Kenya. Thank you very much for making this possible. We did it. We continue to expose Museveni. Here what we are doing, we are exposing Museveni regionally. We want to make it very clear for everybody that pretends not to know Museveni that they are dealing with a criminal, a criminal regime, and their partners in that crime. The administration of Kenya should distance itself from Museveni. Otherwise, they won't have any explanation to Kenyans that they are not importing dictatorship and Musevenism into Kenya. The same thing we tell the international community wherever we go. I want to thank Comrade Nyanzi here for representing us back home. You all saw what happened. They had to suffer tear gas. Some of them had to be arrested, but we had to put our stamp, our foot down on the ground. As we continue to expose Museveni, all of you are encouraged you to do what you're doing. Besides uh, knocking those, besides reaching out to our leaders and friends to lobby, to expose Museveni and encourage those governments to distance themselves from Museveni and stop funding this government, which funds are used to kill our people. We also encourage you, Ugandans, especially you that are in the diaspora, to remain active. The Museveni regime has affected everybody, generally and personally. Today, almost the entire family of Comrade Nyanzi had to run away from Uganda. That is the family of Chairman Nyanzi. After surviving an abduction where only one of his sons, Happy, was abducted, luckily he was found after we made a lot of noise. He had to repatriate his family. Now his family is living in Kenya. So we understand you, comrade, when you say you miss your wife. We understand you when you say you miss your children. We understand your children when they meet, when they say they miss their father. That is the price we have had to pay. Museveni has affected marriages. He has affected families. He has affected relationships. He has affected businesses. He has destroyed our country. But one thing that I thank God about is that he is giving us anger. So I am encouraging you 
to keep preaching. Each one of you has the right, and of course you have the responsibility to continue this fight. We are fighting to remove a dictator, and we are going to remove that dictator. The challenge of our generation is to free up. Initially, we, we are fighting for a more democratic country. We are fighting for you know, economic freedom. We are fighting for civil rights. We are fighting for inclusivity. But now we are reduced to fighting for human rights. Human rights is the right to be a human being. We are reduced to fighting to be human beings. I am reduced to fighting to be a man. Yesterday you saw many of our sisters were abducted and raped in detention. You saw young men who were castrated. We were in the same room with a young man who was castrated like a goat. You saw people that lost limbs, lost hands and legs all to Museveni's impunity. We cannot stop. So much of a price has been paid. Our only duty is to reap, is to get that reward. Those that died before us, those that, those that are in prison, those that are in, in, on hospital beds, they have paid that price. We would be such idiots not to pick the reward from that sacrifice. Many of people have paid the ultimate price for us, for those children that are coming after us, it is our responsibility. It is our responsibility to complete this mission. If we don't complete this mission, we will be sellouts. Sellouts are not only those that go for money. Some sellouts actually go for comfort. Oh, I'm tired of that. Let me go and have my peace. We are all going to be free or nobody will be free. Yes. We are all going to get our peace or nobody will get peace. We are all going to be comfortable or nobody will be comfortable. <laughs> so as I conclude, ladies and gentlemen, I regret that I'm not going to be with you much longer. But I've whispered to Secretary General and the colleagues here, and they agreed to stay and interact with you. I know we have challenges, even amidst ourselves. We have complaints, even against each other. I want to beseech you, comrades. Let us find ways of harmonizing ourselves. We cannot afford to be divided. We cannot afford to be divided and diverted. Of course, that's a benefit to the regime when we are divided. When they see us fighting against each other, that's their benefit. We must heal that. And nobody else is going to unite us apart from ourselves. I'm not going to come from Kampala to tell you to unite. You know the purpose of unity. I can only encourage you and facilitate that. So with those few words, allow me to run off to the airport and I go form another war front there. When the South Africans were fighting against the white monopoly, against racism, against um, apartheid, they used our ground in Uganda to fight against that dictatorship. We are going to use the South African ground, whether they want or not, because that's our home, that is Africa. And yes, even here in Kenya, back in the days of Moi, Kenyans used to run to exile in Uganda. So we are entitled to come here. We are brothers and sisters in Kenya. These useless borders were drawn by colonialists. We are each other's keepers. This is home. We thank you, Kenyans, for standing with us, especially the citizens. And we continue to call upon the authorities to stand with the people of Uganda because Uganda is bigger than seven. Those few words, I thank you very much. And I wish you uh, fruitful deliberations. I look forward to returning in celebration of our freedom. Thank you very much for God and our country. People power! Power! power. Our power! People power! NUP! Everywhere! Everywhere! Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. The Kenyan committee, committee members only, please uh, come, come over here and have this picture. People power is our power. Our power is the real power. People power is our power. Our power is the real power. People 
Ipo pawa is our pawa. Ipo pawa is our pawa. Ipo pawa So we want to organize this picture very well because the prayer is let. Uh, you guys should be. Now, who are the leaders? Let's have one picture. Okay, great. His Excellency Robert Chagrin Center Mowacho, who is a great message. Uh, in song, I'm the same song, and then i song, uh, president uh, government. government. president. Briefly, what do you comment about the functions that took place here in Kenya? Ah, okusoke la dala, tuwa gala okwewa za mkama katuonda. Atusoko sisa okumala ko egina kuzino esa tuzetumaze e Kenya. Ah, olunakuluno owa ena kuzino zitu wade e chokula virako chinene nyo, irane zitu wane chifana nye chitufu. Ebigenda mmase waka. Banna febanji, baba dete baina huvumu humala kugeda volumi uba idamu fenga ba kure mbese ebintu bino tubiulira era tubiraba era ne tunyomya ne ba victims avenger wolo roba na fene tubira ba victims abantu ba fe twasobode okubaleta e Kenya na te basobola okugera ku nsonga zino engerije zitambula mu gwanga obulyanke okutta abantu ne chiwamba abantu chetuze tuogera ko fena tuchimanyi nti Uganda teri fuga ya mateka era twawangula kalulu Tuwa galo kula bantu teka o enfuga e yama teka. Nti abantu wewe nyingira mbio kufuzi na tete bagenda mbiko labi abutu juu. Nga jeno msefi ni biaba dakola. Nibwa kwa hato mpupo kwa mtu oroku wa giro kwa gizi. Oroku sara okwe nyingira mbio demokrasia. Nibwa kwa hato mtu masoge. Nibwa kwa hata oburade. Nibwa kwa mtu mwesa. Nibwa kwa hato mchala. Nibwa mkube chikere. Nibwa chiteka wali. Nibwa kwa hata bachala. Nibwa kwa rapinga. Victims. Abantu wewe kute abenja ulonga mwemuli ne kavuma kati ya mazina kunga kumina sato okupa yeba mkwata bino vyo nabyo nabyo na biso gola story zina okupa yoburu unji ngabantu wa fetu wale sene uwe ujiba uri ila safe okogeda ensonga zino kubanga ekampala wetu batu fude yoku vyo gira ne media ezimu tezijia yu engeli jetu jetu batu vile ese atuba de nchiko esenja ulo bucha tutu sewa no wamu naba kungu abenja ulo aba human rights indoor meetings a uh, netuba ne nchiko ezaba na Uganda abawangalira e Kenya netuba ne nchiko ezaba Uganda bafe abadduka e Uganda okusobola kujja okwe okuyita mu chikanga bwecho chebayita mu 
uh, netuba nchiko eri ebitongo le byanachewa netuba nchiko ne bana Kenya abagala Uganda abagala obuntu humanity first okulaba anti balumirirwa egwanga oba NC no no muntu okusobola okubera ne dembeli okubera munsi ye nga mulimu angabali accountable oba bakulembeze bali accountable eri abantu na ene mfuga ya mateka nga weri ah tubadde ne nchiko zinozo nazi bade za mugaso nyo era chetuza ewaka ne plan ze tukola bena tuchimanyi ndi mu diaspora abad diaspora bakozo muri munene nyo ero lunako rwa lero government ya m7 te cha sobola kuvayo kulimba nsi ntibiri bulunji ah ewaka ewafe uganda kubanga timu za diaspora zikoze omuri mu mulunji ate mu nene nyo okulaba nti zidabisa ajeno m7 Mchisera chino tube itaga nyo kuwanga na te diktata asi use nyo mpisa. Asi use nye mpisa elata chaatia. Wewa otuliba vumu kuwanga nchiko zinozo nazo nazi tuwe suubi. Tutegeka elata tuliba vumu nti jeno museven tuja muja muntebe. Wewa ote tugenda kuzikiza, tugenda kusigalanga tuko labulichimu. Anga minister wa president and security. Tuina abakosefu. Abava okuva mu kalulu mpaka nakati beba kya kwata abayiti livunyo tucha compiling list biruna kutufuna reports empya kubanga ate drones za zemu na yate fena tuchimanyi nti e Uganda tetu ina judiciary ekola bulunji tetu ina na parliament ze gentula ekola bulunji che chimune executive chovola batuge nane tokera ku nsonga zino ne zitafa yoteta ga total change of the system total change Omuntu ye naye naye na nali wafe Uganda economy eri mu affectinga obwavo buunyane ku bantu ndi buli choza mu business te kisobola kuvayo tobola ba government e bayo ne gamba twagala manerenda ne abafundu soja ne banafe we batambude ko ne bajja ne balaba egali yomuka ku mulirwano ngezinge kisawe ekegwanga okulabi ka station okulabi ko bulunji we bawo biba motivatinga nabo wadde baba de bayita mu bulumi bunonge ebimu babira bira mu filimu ne baba ne subi we babira bakumirirwano bala bira dalanga bisoboka we wao Kenya eri mu maso ko kufe na yete natuka na tokusalya demokrasia ka, katono nyo nti mm. ne mu trip ngazino abantu na mtambala nabo abana bana abawansi tichina che chibongera ko ensonga rwachi twatambude na ba foot soldier basobola kugabana ko echo che tokera ko nti techi wala wetogera ku ngudo enunji wetogera ku train system wetogera ku system ze zili accountable to the people wano wali ngo wali we chifananyi tuine chifananyi fetche tulaba mu free world no obwenkanya mu bantu ne abantu bangeri je basobola kubera supported by the, their own country by their own government no kulaba anti abantu basobola kukula with merit no kulaba anti mfuga ya mateke sobola kuba respected no kulaba anti chitta bantu no bwana chemalira busobola kubanga te buliwo e government ne chuka mirembe we bajja munse no badda mwesubira ne balo ne bachitwala anti tusobola we wao babadde babira ba musinema kati bili wano kumbi ensi zitwe toro dezo na zitusinga okuva advanced mu ngeri ya governance ne mu accountability mu bantu ne be bakola infrastructure okulaba anti government e standing ku ku pillars esatu ezir is running okulaba nto omuntu abero bulunji munsi yabwe ensi zinozo nazo naziri ku lugendo era zi improvinze na echi kwa unyisanti ate omuntu alude mu kulembeze banga lino ate ne banu bana Kenya bayino muri munene nyo okulaba nti bako maku president wabwe okolagana nyo ne dictator na to kumuita oba tata wa wokuta economy eh hey, wokuta economy tata wokuta abantu tata wokuta uh, pillars za government is not delivering area abantu tuino muri munene nyo ngaba na Uganda na echemba kakasa nti buli nchiko oba buli lunaku buli tuko lacho nacho na tuba wa oweyam ndi jeno museveni tugenda kumujja ko tuba wo oweyam tugenda kola buli chimu okulaba anti na te government eno ya jeno museveni etulugunyiza abantu ebasibye mu bwavu ebalisi za loni ezitali favorable kugwanga esse mfuga ya mateka nonno byetulwani dalye dembe lya buli jo buli muntu lya ino kukuna tina tetu jisula tetu ebase olugendo lubadde lulunji nyo era twebaza omukulembeze wa fekubanga kuva wano nataagenda ku meeting ya South Africa okubebaza buli webe kalaka aseyo 
babi ilao ni statement mm. jiba weleza mm. ulina kuruwa lero jeno msevi nitacha asobula kwa accessing a sente mulonzi a mungere ye nja ulo okubanga tasobula kufuna sente nga teziliko condition Uganda yibaba jugula sente bajua uku sente nga kuliko condition zinti o ino ku respecting human rights uh, o ino ku respecting sente zino zino kola ichigende ilo achacho Na ye government ya msebe ni wade ya chitu wala wetu Ntipaba waloni ya kula ngudo ni wade mkula evi vulu Ne, ne mutaba niwe Ne wade mkula evi nitu evi enja ulo Evi ya amba bo Bali ya 80% ni wade za guanga 20% E chintu chino government teli chogira Na ye government ya Uganda luna kuruwa lero Eli bankrupt Eli very bankrupt Chovola waloni wazi sabira kureti ya waguru Adoe bama luzifu na nebali wakaba throwing up party hizi Nebali wakaba sindika sende mkora marina hizi Kugezange mwenye onyo sende mpiti livu nyo Cheta sobo la kukiriza Na ye tugenda kore la wamu Tuba saba mugane kugwa mumani Tuba saba tusigalenga tutambuli la wamu Tuba saba tuplani inge tulowoze Vuli omuabe kone chayo ngero kugatako Kwe wawo tuine sobi kubanga tuchidabi yeko Abantu ba tulonda Abantu ba londo mkule mbeze wafe Era abantu amanyiga abantu gasinga amanyige munthu briefly summarize for me the situation of security in Uganda compared to Kenya and the human rights in Uganda compared to Kenya well uh, i must tell you that uh, the human rights violations uh, in Uganda are very worse uh, in Uganda it is a situation whereby women are raped because of supporting a particular a party. A people were arrested and abducted. People were tortured and people were killed. We saw a story of a young man who, who witnessed a killing of a colleague and after he was forced to take a blood that contained HIV. So that is how worse the situation is back home. They have raped women in uh, drones, and these drones keep still operate. But uh, whether whether the, the rest, uh, we, we see that uh, our country, Uganda, even to the commonest person who is not even involved in politics, either way, he will be affected by the economy. Either way, he will be affected by the police and the military who would be operating and arresting people without following the rules of the law. He will be affected by uh, the systems that of people that cannot be checked, security agencies that do not cooperate and, do, and uh, steal and uh, rape and uh, destroy people's property. I want to tell you, Kenya has uh, improved uh, when it comes to the human rights. That is why the Human Rights Commission of Kenya was in position to host the opposition of Uganda in Kenya. Well, our Human Rights Committee, I must tell you that, is not in operation. And every time it comes out either on the floor of parliament or to the, to the committee of uh, human rights in parliament, it will defend the regime. It will never come out to make sure that it speaks for the human rights violations that are taking place. It sidelines with the regime. That shows you that the Human Rights Committee in Uganda and uh, the commission are literally doing nothing. They are all serving the dictator. He has been there for so long that every system is up to making sure that he stays in power. Well, uh, our obligation is to say that uh, we fight hard, we organize more, and to say that uh, even uh, the disabled, literally every human being can stay in a world in a free world where humanity is first and that is our obligation as a people power to say that the human rights are respected finally the common man of marking uh, east west common man of tambara yumbe arua how can he or she benefit from this uh, uh, continuing travels, continuing tours in foreign countries as leaders of NUP? Take an example. You've been in Kenya for almost like a week. Most of you as leaders, though, publicly, you've been seen three days and four days now. How? Will this contribute to the, uh, to the struggle of Uganda? Because it does not take only Uganda to throw a dictator. It takes the whole world to make sure that uh, we have uh, the rule of law everywhere. Humanity should be everywhere. Peace should be everywhere. Let it be in Ukraine today. There should be peace. Humanity should be all over the world. So we do not look at only where we do come from. But at the end of the day, we need these forces. Either way, Museveni, when he was fighting, he used and he, he, he organized from outside Uganda because it's the only way we can organize better and discuss a few things that uh, the state will not be in position to tap and also 
to encourage our colleagues to join up and uh, know humanity everywhere should be even in Uganda as well. So uh, the common person in uh, Makide is 100% benefits from the, the travels, from the connections, because at the end of the day, a lot of money and a lot of loans and donations and grants have been given to General Museveni. Neither does the common man benefit from it, because 80% of the loans, 80% of the grants given to General Museveni are literally stolen. They take 80% and decide to give 20% to, 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 to back to the system, or to, not even 20%. But it's uh, very surprising that our neighboring countries, so when leaders come and benchmark, this is more of like benchmarking. When we talk of human rights commissions, literally people back home may, be, may feel like it's, uh, we, we are talking of something that is impossible because they have been oppressed for a very long time and now they are feeling comfortable and uh, to be silenced and uh, uh, keep quiet in such situations. Well, I must tell you that uh, for the people we have moved with, they have seen a proper system or an improving system of uh, human rights and uh, how uh, people can live in a free world. Thank you, Honorable Nyoko, for your time, and uh, we shall always have you on Ghetto TV for more engagements. Thank you uh, for your time. Yes, for those of you who have been following us on Ghetto TV, uh, I think it's the end of uh, a three-day uh, conference. It has been a busy day since on 16th, and today is 19th. We've been really busy. Uh, we started from Nairobi, and yesterday we traveled to Mombasa, and today we're in Mombasa. We started with a human rights meeting in the morning. You had uh, the president himself and the ministers and other uh, uh, honorable MPs and other leaders escorting him to that meeting after that immediately he was here. And as of now, he has left to uh, Johannesburg. We really thank you so much. We don't take you for granted. Thank you for loving Ito TV family. Thank you for loving National Platform. Thank you for loving Uganda. Thank you for loving. Nice. To make sure that we liberate our country in Uganda, we are still meeting up different stakeholders in Kenya to make sure that we fulfill and arrange on the arguments that at the end of the day Uganda benefits as a country. But as well, our neighbors are feel free to see the United East Africa, United Africa, and a more responsible world. So thank you so much. Let me leave you from here. It's really, uh, we still have a lot to show you. But as of now, I should say thank you so, so, so much. Struggle. Really thank you so much. So we really don't want that. When I know you watch one the county, now you get to speak. Gari kuno ninga yugere ibanga uli adamu amani ninga yugera kunse yesuvize yara biye ah emeri tu anatuku mumba saba mani mumba saba jimani bana biye emeri ne bawuli de sayi so nti bana yuganda beita gechi muziki zambasi kuri dewa no ah sa kumi malayo munga watu kumi de.